my dear friends how are you all been welcome to my blog the incredible voyage yes today i will be teaching you all how we do charcoal work i have already shown one satguru video in which i have shown you all the techniques about how to do charcoal work but today there will be a few differences and today's topic is shiva yes just shivratri has gone and now we will be doing an artwork on shiva i will show you all the techniques and all the requirements that we have been using and will be using in the near future so please stay tuned and forward for you all to have a look at how i am doing the work if you like the video please send a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my artworks i will be eagerly waiting for your comments so that i can know that you all are interested in my artworks let's begin so friends we are going to be doing the artwork of shiva on a gray toned paper which we call and that is from brustro so this paper is not very thin neither very uh, thick but it's pretty good for charcoal work so first what we do is we take a picture which we want to draw and in that we draw a grid how to draw a grid or how to make a grid i will be showing in a detailed video later on but today i am going to be just explaining how we are doing the shiva drawing so in this paper we will be making the grid as per the grid in the drawing that we have already selected from that once we are done with the grid making we will start the drawing for the drawing i have been using a 3b pencil for the drawing because it is very easy to draw with it eraser of course we use a normal eraser and once we are done with the sketch i go for the two main pencils of charcoal that's medium and soft with these i go for the drawing medium is very easy to blend as well as soft but the soft gives you textures when we need to give highlights i use the charcoal white medium and of course the jello pen blending i use the brush as well as the blender these are the two things that i have been using but before that i used to use my fingers but that is not a way we use we use the blender or the brush the brush gives a smoother effect while the blender gives a textured effect so wherever whichever technique we need to use we can use that to give special textures i use this dot art kit this i have received in the dot art kit where i uh, prefer using this where one of the no uh, this is a bit round while this is a bit pointed so wherever whichever texture we need we can easily give that texture uh, designs as we want we can give i use these mainly to make beards or mustaches once we are done with the artwork i use this fixative to keep the drawing safe and waterproof we can just spray this and this is for charcoals and pencils as well as for pastels so we can use this very easily and we just need to shake and spray I have already done the sketch and now we will start with the charcoal work. So let's not waste time and start. We start with the hair and as soon as we are done with the hair part, we will do the forehead and the tilak. You can see we are using the black charcoal to do the forehead first and then we will use white charcoal. Since this is a grey toned paper, white color will come out very easily. As soon as I do, you can understand it. If you have any queries regarding any topic anything that regarding charcoal please feel free to ask me on the comment sections i will be eagerly helping you all so once we are done with the medium charcoal we use the soft charcoal to do the dark parts and then the blender to blend it all and now the white parts with the white charcoal you can see how easily the white charcoal is showing its color because it's a gray toned paper as we do we will also be blending with the black charcoal so that a realistic effect comes see how it has come out we have already done the hair part so you can see the hair and the 
forehead and the tilak looks so real. Now the most important part, the eyes. The eyes needs to be done very minutely and with a lot of patience because the eyes are the most important part as per I think because the realistic drawing, everything depends on eyes. Here we are doing with the soft charcoal to give the outlines and since they are bright dark we have to use the soft to give a smoother effect also. Once we are done with that we are using the medium charcoal to blend the inside part of the eyes. Now the eyelids and once we are all done with them we will be going for the eyebrows. The eyebrow first layer of the eyebrows we are doing with the medium charcoal and once we are done with that we will give the textures with the soft charcoal pencil. We need to blend everything at every step. Now the white charcoal to give the effects on the eyes. See how we have to give the textures for the eyebrows. If you like my video, please do send a like and I will be able to know. Also comment if you want to know anything regarding all this artworks. Now we do the area just above the eyelids and we have to blend with the brush the area beside the nose as well as the eyes which gives a darker shadow I hope you like the artwork the eyes see the eyes are everything now we uh, start with the moustaches and here I will show you how the textures are given with the dot art tool You can get this dot art tool in any dot art kit. Once we are done, we can use the medium charcoal to give the first layer of the moustache. You can see how the lines that we have made with the dot art tool comes out and becomes prominent. So less of work but more of effects. This would have been more prominent for you all to understand if this would have been a white paper but since we are on a grey toned paper this is becoming lighter. We use the white charcoal just to give highlights. Now the lip area. We are using the soft charcoal to give effects as well as the dark and the light portions of the moustache will be understood. So light and shadow plays the biggest role. You can see how easily the differences come out and the layers that we had done with the dot art tool can be understood now. If we blend this part with a brush then this texture that we have given will vanish because the brush gives a smoother effect so nothing will be there but so uh, since we want the texture we will be doing it with a blender if required. The area just beneath the nose will be done with a brush because we need that a smooth effect. In the lips also we will be giving a bit of texture with the dot art tool just like this. Yes and this we are doing with the painted part of the tool. Now we are giving a bit of white charcoal 
and once we are done with all the blendings and everything we will give the black so now you can see we are giving the black charcoal only on the places where the shadows will be coming not the entire lips bit of blending with the brush as we need a smoother effect just be beneath the lips now the beard part i hope you all like my artwork and if you all do please to subscribe to my channel to see more of these kind of artworks we are blending with the brush as a smooth effect is required next we will again be using the dot art tool but this time the round side of the tool we will be using to give the beard a texture when we do the beard we are giving a wavy or a curvy texture because the beard falls in that way and now once we are done with the textures we will go for the medium charcoal to give the effects at places we will also be using the white charcoal to give effects and highlights at the very beginning so you can see with the medium i am giving the layers please do let me know from which state which country you are watching my video i'll be very happy to hear them also if you have any query regarding these kind of artworks do feel free to comment and ask me now with the soft charcoal we are giving the shadows on the beard everyone has their own way of celebrating shivratri this was my way of celebrating shivratri the night when we do we have to do the jagrans so all night i stayed up and did my shiva artwork so i stayed with shiva i am blending the shoulder part with the blender because i need a texture effect there so you can see the beard is complete now and how wavy or curvy it looks like each and every strands can be seen the area just beneath the mustache the beard area is needs to be highlighted so because the shadow of the mustache comes so we are giving a darker effect there we all feel charcoal is a very hard medium but if we start loving it and if we start practicing it nothing is hard so feel free to use the charcoals because charcoals are really really very good to play with at few places we are giving darker color we are giving the shadow so that it becomes prominent once we are done with this soft charcoal the shadow portions we will start blending with the blender we are using a blender here because we want a textured see how the texture that we have done with the dot art tool comes out so easily if we have blended with a brush then this would not be seen you can see how easy it is to use the blender tools and how effects come when we are using the blender each and every layer becomes prominent now the neck area you can see how light and shadow plays its part and every part gets its importance and we can very easily understand which part is what now the ornaments As always we will be doing the first layer of the ornaments with the 
medium charcoal and once we are done with that the soft charcoal we will be using to give the highlights or the light and shadow and finally we will be using the white charcoal after blending with the blender ornaments you can do as per your own wish and as you want you can play with the light and shadow parts now we are going for the hair which is behind the ears and the shoulder area the hair part we are doing with a dark softer charcoal because we need a darker or the shadow part of the hair just behind the ears as well as behind the neck since i've already shown you how to do the textures in the beard and the mustache i am not showing any more in the hair part so you can directly do the textures with the dot art tool and then go for the soft charcoal to do the shadow parts and then for the light charcoal that's the medium charcoal for the rest here we will be using a blender to blend the hair because we need the textures beneath once we are done with the blending we will go for the medium charcoal to do the rest of the hair just like this to give the first layer and once we are done with that we will be doing with the the detailing part with the soft charcoal now we go for the detail part that is the textures for the light and shadow we are using the soft charcoal here We are blending with a blending tool. You can get this blending tool from any online store or any stationery shop in the local market. It comes in a set of three or five, according to the sizes. Now highlights we are giving with the white charcoal. Next we are going for the ornament part. So as I have shown you all before also how we are doing the ornament. We are using the same technique that is with the soft charcoal. We are doing it as we want it prominent and we are blending with the blender. Now with the medium charcoal we are doing the shadows. And blending with the brush. Highlights we are going to be doing with the white charcoal. We are using the same technique for this part also. So now for the shoulder part again we are going to be using the soft and then the medium charcoal and then blending with a blender lights as i already said will be with a white charcoal and with these highlights ends our today's shiva art i hope you have all liked it and let me know if you all have any queries So here I sign off for today and I will be meeting you all very soon with the next vlog with a new artwork or some new experiences. Till then stay tuned. For the final ending of the picture we will be spraying the 
fixative to keep the picture safe and long lasting. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the pictures. And I'll be eagerly waiting for you all to meet in the next vlog.